Pierce, Dylan Weber, post fight thoughts. Push the weight in your face. Flex the lavish one in the six. If it's the runner boy, you niggas no question. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker never learned your lesson. I'm an 88 pack nigga. I'm an 88 pack nigga. I mean, they want to drink blood fangs out. Full moon, motherfucker. Change like a hoe, brother. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronx on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Well, the wolf grew up in the ring tonight. Let me tell you something, man. Um, he was put to the test. And um, these fighters need things like this. Um, fight just ended. Um, if you watched it, it was on uh, zone Boxing on uh, the YouTube channel. And y'all know I support this kid. He's been on my, uh, he's been on my, uh, on my platform a couple of times. You know, um... And he's a really great kid, man. He's a really great kid. Y'all know he had uh, that famous spawn session with Tank, since people like releasing spawn sessions and things of that nature. Um, so he fights th this uh, this this fellow by the name of Arthur Villain Weber. Um, looked at his record, and turns out the the the, the fellow could crack. I don't know anything about him, but it turns out the fellow could crack because in the second round, he dropped him. He dropped Pierce. He dropped him. He sure did clean shot he tried to stay up and he stumbled and he fell and i'm like oh ish come on king get up he got up shaky legs but he stood there he took a deep breath listened for the eight count focused on defense tried to fire back um he weathered the storm came right back a couple of rounds later got back to business dropped villanueva and eventually stops him. Now let me explain something to you. This is what fighters need. Because up until this point on a professional level, I don't know what's happened to him in the gym. I don't know what's happened to him, uh, uh, you know, prior to this. But he needed this. He needed this. Sometimes these fighters, you get hurt by the fighter you least expected. And every champion has had to go, go through the fire and do things like go through things like this. Um, prime example. Everybody picked Floyd Mayweather Jr. to beat uh, Shane Mosley, and he did. But in round two, that was the most hurt you've seen Floyd like ever in a, on a professional level. I don't know how the hell he stood up because Shane Mosley could crack. And after that round. It was back to business. The list goes on and on and on. You see Muhammad Ali get dropped and come off the canvas to win. Floyd Mayweather hurt by Shane Mosley. You've seen things like this. Um, Ron Lyle and George Foreman, the elevator match. This tests the fortitude of a fighter, man. I'm so proud of this kid, man. Um, he grew up and I just text him, you grew up in that ring because up until now, you don't know what's going to happen until you get hit. And apparently, um, I didn't look at this, this, this fellow villain, villain Weber's record until recently. Now, I don't know anybody on his, um, on his record, but he's knocking out people in his division. So in other words, this guy could punch. You understand? Roly found out that uh, uh, Bar Bar Barossa could punch. We was like, oh, man, this guy could punch. So uh, 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 Elijah ate one. And it was a scary moment. I'm sitting there like, get up, get up. And he got up and he got it done, man. And he won by stoppage. It was a clean stoppage. And salute the villain wherever he has nothing to hang his head about. Um, He had his opportunity and he... Uh, he couldn't capitalize, but he has nothing, nothing to hang his head about. Nothing to hang his head about. Elijah, when he got his legs back, he fought on the inside. He kept his hands up. Uh, he's fighting in the pocket. And he grew up in that ring this evening. He sure did, man. And I'm so proud of this kid, man. And uh, sky's the limit. You know, um, I know he uh, he called out a newie. You know, he still want that tank smoke. Now, I know there's going to be people that's going to look at the rerun and they're going to they're going to it's going to be all over the gram how he got hit by this guy. But you got to factor in this guy could punch. But factor in why y'all trying to clown this kid if you even attempt to do it. Factor in he got up off the canvas and got a stoppage. All right. 
a lot of you guys, <laughs> when your favorite fighter gets hurt, I'm wondering what they're going to do. I've never seen Shakur get hurt. I wonder what he does if he ever gets hurt. I'm not wishing nothing on anybody. I just, I'm curious. I'm curious what, what, what happens when these guys get hurt? I want to know. I want to know. I'm curious. What happens if Tank gets hurt? How's he going to react? Because sometimes when these guys get hurt, they turn into different people. They turn into different people. And what I saw Elijah, I saw professionalism. He got up off the floor. He was calm. He got his legs back. And he got the stoppage. Same thing with Devin Haney. He rolled in the wrong direction. And Jorge Linares, who's a puncher, rocked Devin. Devin took the entire, what was it? He rocked Devin at the end of round 10. He took off round 11. Then they start counting clinches and all that stuff. And then round 12 was back to business. That's what champions do. So he weathered the storm. I'm so proud of this young man. I'm so happy for this young man. And uh, I can't wait to see what's next for him. There was a fella I had to turn because I got things to do tonight. Uh, uh, a Spanish brother that got in there. And I think he got next. So I'm interested in to see uh, how that all shakes up. But um, y'all let me know, know what y'all think if y'all watched it. Uh, y'all can watch the replay. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Salute to the wolf, Elijah Pierce. Bronx on deck. Move!